Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 20... something. Four, maybe. So we just won a second, and I was a little bit sleepy last time. I probably mentioned this in the video. I don't think I really celebrated enough or really just paid enough attention to... Well, a couple things, but most and mostly I just want to talk about the 20-point victory. That is very rare. I mean, it's so rare, I've never seen it before heard rumors of it it's like this mystical unicorn but it has happened now so we can confirm that you can get 20 point peace agreements i suppose that successive brutal just absolute slashings of a nation in a row might be the kind of thing which would give you this kind of peace agreement so it made sense in the context of our war i think i don't think that the game pays attention to the fact that you won two successive wars in a row that were crippling um it even does make sense that i mean the the role play for this situation would be pretty difficult, I think, since how the heck, you know, how the heck does it happen that they lose to submarines, they don't, people don't have food, they have a few years to prepare, they go back to war and the same that, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Another thing I want to draw attention to is the fact that I am playing this game in like a very streamlined years and hundreds probably thousands of hours of experience perspective i want to mention this just in case people are just starting to pick up the game have only played since world wave 2 um world waves 1 and world waves 2 they're almost the identical game in fact the only expansion of it the only quote unquote only it's a huge expansion obviously but the expansion of it was that you moved into the carrier age. Airplanes were added and all this. But the game plays almost identical from 1900 to 1920. Um, yeah, so if you are a new player or you're looking at my results and thinking, I mean, even if the developed Frederick, I mean, anybody from the NWS team is thinking, wow, this game is unbalanced. It's a little bit too easy for the player. I There's no difficulty settings, right? The difficulty setting is basically, well, I guess there is. There's... You can make the AI better, but I never, <laughs> I never do that in any of my games. I always like to have an even footing with the AI. Uh, anyway, all I was trying to say is, do not take this as your standard gameplay result. Okay, so let's move forward. What do we want to do? I know I want to design a new battleship. And the amazing thing is, even though I only, the only thing I've done so far is put everybody on reserve fleet, haven't mothballed anyone, haven't moved people back from their foreign station, which I will start to do now. We are already positive in the budget by 3,000. So this is only going to get better. Because we'll just shift a few things around. What is our um, tonnage requirement? 12,000. So it's pretty easy to meet with just Corvettes. Do we already have enough Corvettes there? We have 18 at 7, I mean, I think we already do is the, is a short answer, but I might move a few more up there just in case. Now, you're four and you are minesweepers. That is a lot of minesweepers up there. I actually want to adjust some. Let's move some of you back to the Mediterranean. And then... I don't know why or how we ended up. Okay, so never mind. These are the new versions. It's six and three. Yeah, that's. Oh, I did them at 900 tons. Interesting. What's the maintenance like? This is really interesting. Four versus. Four? Oh my gosh. I've been making my Corvettes at 600 tons, which is the smallest you can make and still satisfy the. I did not make them colonial. Oh, I did make these colonial. Okay, so look at To me, the answer is clear. We are not going to move any of the non-colonials. These are, um, really, I guess these are just for submarine patrols. And these will probably stay on active fleet because they're very cheap. We probably should have gotten some destroyers. ASW of five. Yeah, six. This is ASW of six. Well, we need some more destroyers because we want the ASW... I mean, I get, we could probably just use these in active fleet. Um, okay, what am I talking about here? Reserve fleet. Um, these are the, sorry, active fleet. Reserve fleet, not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about active fleet versus trade protection during a war. Now, trade protection does eliminate submarines, 
but active fleet prevents submarines that are on, we can't see the option here anymore, but um, when submarines are on fleet protection or fleet support, whatever it is, and they actually uh, end up sinking your ships, the active fleet ones are the ships which contribute ASW to prevent that. The trade protection ones are the ones that stop the general raiding, like from submarines or from raiders. So, these are going to be best off in a role in the active fleet because I want their massive ASW to contribute to protecting my ships. The fact that they're not colonial means to leave them in the Mediterranean. Um, we could probably get some of these old, old ones to move up. So how many did I send down? Four. Let's send six up. I could probably math out the exact amount, but I'm not going to. We'll just be a little bit, we'll overshoot by a little bit. And that's active fleet. Fair enough. So four versus nine. Yeah, it's, it's a bit expensive. Nine, 10, 12. We'll have to see what these cost in active fleet. I guess I can just do one. Yeah, they're cheap. 900 tons. This is the new way of doing it. I don't know why I've ever done it any other way. 900 tons. Three and six. It's just, it's good. It's really good. This is... Yeah, I, the initial build cost is probably a lot more. And with maintenance is so low, that might be the only thing that matters over the course of the, I mean, okay, paying for, what is the initial build cost? Let's just do, figure it out. 1377, so if you start with the with LEET, <laughs> no, it needs to be a three, never mind. Um, you start off with 1377, and you start adding four per month. Well, I guess after a while that can that can add up. 48 a year, leave them in services 10 years, 480. Yeah, I guess it can contribute, but the initial build cost is gonna be, maybe uh, it's, it looks like it's the biggest factor. And okay, this is already a good data point. The minesweepers with the colonial one are quite significantly more expensive. And I don't know if it's because of the colonial, probably it's because of the minesweeping gear. Yeah, I think that these are using more tonnage we can just see this by opening uh, the design. They have 314 weight remaining with mine sweeping gear. And the Agathes have 430, yeah, ton. Oh my gosh, a ton. Not just a ton, 400 tons, 300 tons, whatever it was. Now, what I'm thinking is these destroyers are probably not higher on ASW just because I'm pretty sure they don't have the increased depth charge charge. And they have the room for it, too. They had the room for it if we were to design it now. But if I were to open one of these for a refit, 1916, these are due for a refit. Let's grab one at a time, please. Yeah, so you don't have the room for it. Okay. I don't think we need it on these. I mean, that's not true. We would like it on all of them. But these are medium range, so they are kind of purpose built for something else. We do have short range ships here. Let's look at what these have room for. Also don't have room for it, but. And no buts. There's no way of getting around it, I don't think. Huh, okay. Oh yeah, and also I don't think, well, we'll leave Intel efforts up against the United States and against Great Britain just in case it leads to research breakthroughs. And we have a little bit of money to spare right now too. But who is our main enemy going to be or who's our next enemy? Let's take a look at the map. To the map. Hmm. I don't know that we can actually take anything from Italy. Well, I mean, if we got a complete collapse of Italy, <laughs> if Great Britain didn't mediate the peace. I mean, in theory, we could take Sicily. It's very unlikely that we'll get a peace agreement that good. Um, Germany. Shoot, it's got to be Germany, huh? But we control, this is so cool, we called, control Gibraltar, we own the Mediterranean. Mari Nostra, I think is the words uh, that the Italians speak about the Mediterranean. Clearly untrue, Mari Nostra is whatever that would be, 
in in German or whatever, or Hungarian perhaps. I don't know what the official language of the Austro-Hungarian Empire was. Probably German, but... France is a good candidate, but, I mean, we've spanked them a few times already. Russia we gain almost no benefit from, other than just it would be fun if we could cause them to collapse into the Soviet Union, which you can do. But we could also spank Germany so hard that they become fascist so and for that I wouldn't I mean I guess I would take some territory how many two, one two, so I only need three points and then we can do like a massive reparations uh, not coming from the usual source or I'm not usual but the historical source but it might be interesting to kind of prevent um, put things in a like a very alternate very different but somewhat parallel World War II course where uh, I mean post-World War I course where Germany collapses the thing is we're allied with them and they're a great ally to have because they do help out in Northern Europe against blockades actually I didn't think about it but that might have been the reason why Ireland was very difficult for the I mean it might be impossible for anyone to invade Bleach. okay ships in this area Okay, German has, I mean, say 18 points because it's probably all in reserve, but seven battleships, one battle, I mean, basically their whole force is up here, right? Seven battleships, seven dreadnoughts, one battle cruiser, three armored cruisers. Let's compare that with, yeah, Great Britain is pretty much the same thing. In fact, two armored cruiser, or heavy cruisers probably at this point, two heavy cruisers short of the German numbers. Nah, I mean, these probably are armored cruisers still. Russia has five dreadnoughts, four armored cruisers, and nobody else can challenge. So it actually is quite nice to see that Germany is very capable of helping us out with any operations in Northern Europe. I don't really need them to do anything other than stop blockades my stuff, but what's the blockade range? I mean, an invasion range? So if we do things quickly, we might be able to get... Um, we might be able to... Oh, no, we're in range, huh? Yeah, we're in range. I think you only need one of these ports in range of any of the enemy ports, and then it works, which means that if any of their ports have the same, if they have the same invasion range, the reverse is also true. And it looks like Brest is clearly uh, reachable, I can clearly reach Cork and vice versa, which means that France can invade Ireland as well. Although, what is this, 10 points? It just seems like it's going to be very difficult, especially with six batteries. Um, it should be very difficult for them to, to actually invade. All right, so I don't know is the answer, and I'm going to leave this. We've already spent like 10 minutes doing nothing. Let's at least advance a turn. Um, one thing about the ship design, because I know that this is the upcoming thing. Right now, we don't have all or nothing armor. And it's funny, because the armor scheme they choose by default is flat, flat deck on top of belt which is where all or nothing would eventually go. It's just funny to me because it seems like even the game thinks that we're supposed to have all or nothing armor by now, but we don't, <laughs> which, I mean, it is quite late. All or nothing armor, you could have it, eh, I mean, 1910 if you wanted. So we are, I mean, perpetually behind on these categories. Austro-Hungarian research, not I'm not expecting it to be the highest. Since we're making a, a whole episode about not advancing time too much, yeah, it's amazing. Our technical development is behind. And compared to Great Britain, who we've defeated twice on the seas, and we've invested nothing but the most amount we can into the research, 12%, the entire game. France is behind. Italy is just straight backward, as I would guess and is true. Russia is. Germany's behind. Very advanced. Oh, this is... Kind of a weird world. Weird? Maybe not so weird. Where everyone is trailing behind Great Britain and the United States by a massive amount. They're both very advanced, and the next person, I guess is Germany and myself, are behind. I thought there was like a, a normal... Maybe I'm not... Maybe this is just the different tier categories. Very advanced. 
maybe the next step is behind, but I thought there was one like normal or some you know, middle of the road one. Anyway, we are now going to end the turn because we don't have all or nothing. Oh, enables, okay, well, pff, I hate getting there, but it's impossible. I mean, it's like, I don't want to bring an aircraft, but I'd be a fool not to. So now we have a different question to ask, which is, when does the Fjörkton get out? No, she's actually a decent battleship. Let's see, can we, ref can we refit an O'Donnell to be an aircraft carrier? And I really like this Brut de Schilm de Krotencraft. I think it's like Power of the Turtle or something like that. I love this name. So that is the one I would like to name. I would like this one to be the one who gets the refit. So what if we, okay, open design for rebuild. And we clear the turrets. Take this all the way down. Go down to seven inch guns. We'll add like a couple of side turrets. They'll just basically do the, what, even just one will work. Let's make this a weird, weird world where we build on our conning towers on the left hand side. I don't remember, there was a reason why they wanted, they, they chose left versus right. There was some thought put into it. Can't remember. I wonder if it's even related. I'm, I'm spitballing here. I don't, I don't think it was related to this. I wonder if it's even how the, the direction propellers spin and like the torque and like the, I mean, that should all be handled by trim anyway. Okay. Uh, let me think. So we want to make this an aircraft carrier, which means we need to do flight deck and give it some amount of aircraft. If we can get 20, that would be... Oh, man. So we can get more than 20. Um, we definitely don't need this kind of armor for turrets now. Take it down to 2.5. And just give me a check mark on this. A carrier with speed below, oh. Well, this would be quite a job then. Does it have to be the Fjurkton? It's an ugly class. I mean, this only has one super firing, I mean, it has no super firing guns. It only has two and a half inch deck. I mean, maybe it is a no cape, it's just, it's, Sad thing, it's sad because it's not a bad, it's really not a bad dreadnought. I think that this could go toe to toe. When is the original design from this? When was it originally from? Not 1923. Ah, man, I don't know. Anyways, okay, so what we'll do in the meantime, I no, I want to hold off on designing ships. Okay, let's just go a month. By all means. Oh, we need to, yeah, so we need to get into the aircraft design game here. Especially with our recent CV abilities. Range and speed, it's just a no-brainer. Um, I am going to look at doing this because we do need the increased elevation. No director firing, so that's it. Wow, we have one rate, one weight remaining. Ah, too bad we haven't brought these to bear. I, I really want to see these things in action. Just, I mean, a ton of six inch guns, which we will slowly decrease, just like, um, wasn't this the refit to the Yamato? They got rid of the eight inch guns, put in AA. We'll be doing that as well. Removing the sec, lowering the secondary guns and upping the tertiaries with dual purpose guns. Now, for like battleship, capital ships, like carriers, battleships, these you can get away with doing. I would say it's not as important to do dual purpose guns. It's more important to protect yourself because you are going to be the target. Something like a light cruiser, any kind of AA positions, in my opinion, are just a waste. Like, who cares if a dive bomber goes after your light cruiser? 
it's awesome that they didn't go after your battleship. So, and you may think, well, you're losing a ship for nothing. You could have just added a little. Well, in the opportunity cost wise, the time that they're spending to bomb a light cruiser is time I'm hopefully spending to bomb their carrier or battleship or you know, higher value target. So these O'Donnells are now it's hard to justify them existing. I mean, we have almost no surface fleet to speak of. We have basically a whole bunch of armored cruisers. Some ancient battleships, which I really can't imagine how we can justify these making it beyond this time frame. They might be able to see one more war. Oh, okay, let's just... Oh. Okay, wow. Okay. Oof. Well, that's that's a big one. So we got the all or nothing. The Furchtons back. Let's open it for design and see what we can do as far as... Let's bulge it because that'll lose two knots, but it'll still be at 21. Put a flight deck on. Get the 24 or whatever. Clear the turrets. Lower it down to 7. Add the one port midship single fire turret. Drop this down to zero, get the turret armor. Just can do all the things. All right, so this is gonna have some way too much armor <laughs> in a lot of in a lot of ways. Okay, I want more aircraft then. We, we can get more aircraft, all right. Boy, we can get more aircraft, holy crap. How did this end up happening? There it is. All right, dude, this is... Ah, speed of at least 24 knots. Eight by eight inch guns, that's right. The first one has to have this, Disney, but it won't work. Okay. We don't, I don't think we have a ship capable of satisfying these demands. Could the Indica? I don't think so. Let's just give it a shot. I just don't, I think, I don't even know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to design a ship just to be converted, which is nonsense. Okay, let's get eight. Downgrade the guns. We can't bulge this because it'll drop by three knots. How is this gonna work? Clear. Drop to zero. I just don't see it happening. Drop everything we can. Okay, put a flight deck on. I just don't see how we're gonna get enough aircraft on this for it not to be a light cruiser or light carrier. Damn it. I don't, well, I mean, first of all, we can't, can we build purpose built to begin with? Not develop purpose-built large aircraft carriers. Hmm. <laughs> we have not developed incline belt. What? We didn't put incline belt on it. I don't even know what's going on there. It was probably checked and then unchecked when I hit check mark. Oh man. Wow, we've designed ourselves into a real pickle here. And we our design speed <laughs> is 23 knots for all of these. Okay, so what we have then is a really stupid situation where we are gonna have to design a ship simply to convert it. And because we, we can do that, that's not a problem. We're just gonna make this as cheap as possible. It's gonna be a one-off BS class. Just need to make sure that it is 24 has like no belt, so this will be reclassified, I'm pretty sure, as an armored cruiser. Take two, tower. The fool who sits on this doesn't deserve to be protected. But, you know, I don't know why, I just can't get around not having some of these things. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, so eight, decrease, decrease and I'm just gonna immediately put these into the 
side positions. Okay, how does that work? Turrets are not balanced. Okay, so we can't do it this way because it will force us to redo the turrets. And then we're gonna need to find a way of getting rid of all the, ah oh man, it's just it's a pain in the butt. So yeah, it don't won't work like this. Doesn't matter what we do for turrets, we might as well put I'm, I, we can do some experiments here. I don't know how interesting it'll be for you all to see, but we can do it. I'm putting on these six inch guns, a ton of them. Um, not because I think that they're useful in any way, but because, oh man, there's something about casemates versus turrets. I don't think, I think we need Kate, no, but we got it. They gotta be in turrets. We're gonna get rid of them anyway. I'm gonna leave it like this because, kind of second, okay, that's fine. I need to put in a bunch of weight, put a bunch of secondary turrets on here with weight, ton of weight. Basically, I need to put a crap ton of weight on stuff which is gonna go away. Although maybe I can actually just keep these as my dual purpose guns. So I don't need them to have armor, do I? I don't think so. Just leave those there. So that won't be the place where I get to put extra weight in. I'll probably just put it here then. So just give me some... Um, the, oh, what if these see... These might actually see a war. Do we not have forward super firing that is maybe not for armored cruisers because that's ridiculous all right how does that work okay <laughs> blast effects for main battery turrets will reduce rate of our non casement that's what I wanted that this is the effect I was looking at that's fine, it'll go away. Low freeboard, which is fine. Um, it has way too much unused displacement. That's fine. So what we could do is actually intentionally put this up to 27 and then bulge it. I don't think we want to do that though. I don't know how they classify, how the hell is this classified as a battleship? The only, and it says the only problem with it is, yeah, I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's got, it's got a, quite a few problems. Okay, how do I do this? Get rid of these. Oh, we can put a seaplane hanger with, you know, a few of these to clear some weight. <clears throat> um, okay. Do we have catapults? I don't think, I don't know if we do. We do. Can I get one on each side then? Is that creating any issues? No. I mean, it's really not, I don't, is this thing going to see action? I, I just, again, I hope not. And let's just play with the numbers here. See how many we can get. Yeah, so we can get anything over 30. Because I think over 30, it has, no, it's like 36 is the max you can put on a light carrier. Or 34. I don't know the exact number, but somewhere in the 30s. So we just need to break over that number. And then there's no way it can be classified as anything but a carrier. Which will allow us to do purpose-built carriers. So there's a method to my madness, but it's just, this is this is crazy. Why is this? This is just. I hate the fact that we have to design this crap. Wait 30 months. We don't have a ship. It it's just. Uh, 
But this is also cool from the perspective that we didn't game the system. We didn't build a special class of battleship or battle cruiser, which we knew with our prescience, with our you know hindsight, essentially, we will convert this into a carrier. I don't know why it had to be this way. I'm pretty sure that there were some nations that didn't convert, that just built from... No, but maybe that's not true. United States, Japan, and Great Britain all did conversions. Hmm. Right, but the conversion was not necessarily... There was a conversion, the Langley, I think, what somebody was mentioning, was converted from a... From a... I see a... Cargo ship of some sort. Not... Okay, this is a lot of talk. Why? I didn't mean to close that, but... I'm getting, I'm getting a little frustrated because this episode hasn't gone anywhere. Why are people buying stuff from us? We... It's just like every month that slips away is another month. I just, is there, there's got to be a way for us to get... Oh. I'm... <laughs> okay. Alright, there is. I just figured it out. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but we'll have to replace machinery. Okay, now let's get to work. And for those of you who were screaming at me for a while, look at it. I mean, this is, it was not obvious. I don't think it was obvious. Maybe it was. Okay, there's our Lexington configuration, which is mandatory for whatever reason. You are quite shoehorned, despite, you know, <laughs> not being shoehorned. Okay, so we got our 24 <clears throat> short range coal, but we might as well go to oil. Give us a little bit more. Um, let's just get speed, because this is not going to be a very. I don't know. By the way, how much weight does this? Okay, this is really funny. We can almost do this and then get bulged for the for the money for our money back, which gives us torpedo protection. So basically, be torpedo. So we're at six hundred. It'd be torpedo protection for about seven hundred or eight hundred and fifty tons. An, an additional one. I'm not going to do it because this is should be more about just getting something out there quickly so we can quickly get purpose-built ones. So that's going to be the focus. Now we can drop down these and eh? okay good and maybe up these. Oh, let's just drop this down to zero. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking of dual purpose, but okay. So let's do the dual purpose pr preparations just in advance. And again, we need to get above. I mean, 36, sh 37 is already should be there. Um, might as well drop down the rounds. That's pretty bad, though. Oh yeah. <sighs> Hello. There we go. Do we need these? I mean, for six inch guns, I'm gonna say yes. All right, it gives us a little bit more weight to play with. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that I <laughs> didn't end the episode without with doing like nothing. I could just end the episode doing, end the, end, you know, just nothing done. What if we just drop these I forget about the six inch guns, just immediately go to four inch guns, get a ton of them, get another aircraft, two more aircraft that puts us right there. We go to 48 and get a little more ammunition for the dual purpose because we do want it, unfortunately. Um, we don't need armor on these now, so that is plenty of space. Go up to 50, go to a little bit more ammunition. How much of a difference does this make? I'm gonna leave it. This is mainly the Furkton's gonna be for um, just getting the conversion, right? I mean, getting the conversion done with. 
let's see what what's going on with this now. So this refit is going to be horrendously expensive, but only 12 months. Holy crap, too many secondary guns for the 10%. You can probably just get a ring, find out where the number is. Okay, 16, we can get away with 16. Now if we go, this is total cost of 90.5. I was expecting that that would actually decrease the cost because these were six inch guns to begin with and now I'm not really doing anything. Well, let's just leave it as that then. Hmm. What would we get 51? Well, we can get 51. Oh, we probably should consider adding some AA to this because it presumably will be a target. Like the dual purpose guns that we're preparing it for, first of all, they're not there yet, but they're not going to help it against as much against incoming aircraft as just having 15. I don't think that's enough. Yet 7AA, that's really not enough. Okay, so let's drop it down down by one aircraft. 50 is a nice even number anyway. Now we can go crazy. Yeah, that is good. That's much better. Okay, so let me review this real fast. Does this make sense? I think so. <sighs> we almost missed it because of my stupidity. Now we're still shy of the tonnage needed, but having a little bit baked in might not be a bad idea. Let's go to 150. Okay, this this is it. The Furchtin will be our first aircraft carrier. I guess everyone's waiting for the moment of truth when I <laughs> decide, <laughs> resign, at least move the damn fun funnels, right? Should reroute them over there. Suppose the conning tower needs to go. I, I'm gonna leave that line, that one's fine. Oh, what were you expecting anyway? Quit your day job, Tortuga. Graphic design. My hopes and dreams have just been crushed. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just I'm just being goofy at this point. Um we can put one line going the full way. Just so that they know where you know the center of the ship is, maybe. God, I, I really have to redo that one. I'm sorry. We could just do a little bit better, right? I want the last part to finish straight. Come on. Okay, not bad. It has something vaguely re resembling something which you could call a flight deck. Good enough for me. In fact, the, the other line here, that one's now an embarrassment because it wasn't straight. Why how did I not, how did I miss that it wasn't straight? Okay, there we go. All right, well, there it is. There's the Furchtin carrier refit battle cruiser slash battle carrier eight inch guns, nonsense. This is just to get us to tick a checkbox, and we're doing it. So that is that was a frustrating episode for me. It just, I was so mired in the design decisions. Um, yeah, go ahead and buy. 
Not that we really need the money. Oh my god, our funds. Wait, wait, wait. Messages. Uh, we have to build this, like, in a hurry. So let's also go ahead and get... All or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do this. We have to do this. We gotta get this going on because we have too much money. Now, one way to solve our money problems would not be to build a... I mean, it could be to build anything, really. But I think that we'll be okay building a battleship next. Tensions are low and might even get out before the next war. Okay, I don't know what the name of this will be. I'll have to go to the supporters list. Um, but let me see. So far so, no. We do not want that. Okay, so we'll probably go with triple turrets if we can do that. Get rid of torpedoes at this point, not necessary. We are gonna need AA. I like at least 105. Okay, now we have all or nothing. AON there is what the, it's the same flat deck on top of armor, on top of belt I should say, but makes a big difference. And I don't need to prioritize deck too much. Main reason is that I generally just get way too close to the fight. I think 24 knots is going to be the new standard. Um, it's still 500 tons to get that extra jump and actually saves us 450 to drop down to 23. But I'm gonna, live, I'm gonna put these at 24. We're improving. We're iterating on the past versions. Conning tower can drop. This looks okay, turret top needs to go up. Secondaries can drop down. And we're already at the point where, yeah, we're getting 14 six inch guns, but this is probably already territory where we need to start prepping um, for the dual purpose guns. So let's maybe get the tertiary guns in there. So we need 417. Now, I'm going to remove this probably at the very end, but we want to make sure we don't overload anything. Oh, wow, I can't believe, by the way, that we are actually able to do this so far. How is this coming together so nicely? There must be something, this is incredible. Oh, okay, so if I go down to one, that 20% penalty should go away. Of course, it <laughs> limited my topside space, but that's fine, we can go down to 45. Everything is okay, oh my gosh. That's, do you see how fast you should be able to design these things? <laughs> well, I don't get stuck in my own head. Go up to 13.5, 4.5, 4, 12.5, 2. This all looks good. Wow, this is crazy how fast we built this. We have 2,500 tons available at the dockyard, which we aren't currently using. Now, my question is, if we decided to use that, what, where would the benefit be? 105 is pretty good for 16-inch guns. We have, I mean, this is a good configuration. 12... 16 inch guns. This is this is definitely something you're gonna be afraid of. Doesn't matter who you are for the rest of the game, this is something that can kill any ship, including like a Yamato class. Now, it may not be an, an like an, a favorite in that kind of engagement, but it has the potential. Uh, the one bad thing here is torpedo defense, which is generally how I lose my ships. Hmm. There is also the question of whether or not I should add catapults, but even when you add catapults, you still have to recover float planes and that slows you down. If I'm not mistaken. Ship without catapults or flight deck will have to stop to launch aircraft. Yeah, but I think you have to slow down to like 14 knots to recover them, which means that in my opinion, light cruisers are the best best, or even heavy cruisers, are the best for uh, seaplane hangars and for launching float planes. And we don't need this checked anymore. Whoops. I like the design of this. I mean, everything's looking good. Just we built it too fast. It makes me nervous that I'm actually missing something. We could go down a short range. Um, I don't think that's necessary anymore. 
So this will be a very expensive ship. We don't have the money for it currently, but that's kind of the point, isn't it? <laughs> we need to get use our surplus money quickly. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get a, a name. Okay, this will be the Prince von Salzburg class dreadnought slash battle cruiser slash fast. Well, it's not really that fast. It's, it's not really a battle cruiser, but. Since Austria-Hungary hasn't built any of those, this is the closest we're gonna get. And that's just a nod towards the original design, uh, target design of Battlecruiser for this name. But we don't have any, so this is the best I can do. This is, you're gonna have to live with this. 49, there's really not that much weight remaining considering we'll be doing dual purpose and upgrading fire control and all that. So you know what, I'm gonna save and we're gonna ship her. Okay, go ahead and do it, four months. So I'm gonna end the episode here, very timely way of doing it, to see if there's anything terrible I've missed before we actually commit to laying that down. So let me know if you, if I, it seems like I missed something. In the meantime, we also can manipulate all these darn ships, mothball, whole bunch of things. Mostly I need to mothball the armored cruisers. I mean, I'd really like to mothball the Indicas, but Wait, are they going to get refit? Yeah, they are. I'm going to mothball them then. I know that they're going to lose all their wonderful experience, but they are pretty expensive. Then we just look for the fastest ships. Looks like these need to be mothballed. And is that sufficient? Can we run one turn like that? So these can all be mothballed. Well, they don't need to be. They can be reserve fleet to count as part of that. Definitely don't need them in active fleet. Those are, I'm sure, from Northern Europe. Okay, another, another dissenter. And there we go. That increases endurance. So we'll definitely be, wait, does that increase endurance on all things or does that on only on the new ships? I don't know, because now I may have to remake the design just so that the Prinz von Salzburg gets the, that bonus. But I don't know if it impacts uh, just all ships. And man, we have tons of money still. We're gonna have to buy something, but I'll do that in the next video. For now, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.